Alright, uh, this is Mofo See That, and today we're going to be looking at the comic that I bought from Anime Expo 2014. Sorry for the glare or bad light, I don't know why it looks dim the camera, but there are two lights on. So, the first one is the 80 page issue from the Civil Age, July number one. Uh, still use the Comics Code Authority stamp. And from DC, the eight new heroes, who are they, what are they, and how will they ever succeed when the GLA failed? So this guy says, one side Superman, back off Batman, you can't save the Earth, but we can. Featuring SOS to Nowhere, a 51 page extravaganza, starring 37 guest stars and 9 vile villains. So these are the 9. And so this is a really interesting issue. See, it's a bit, because it's a spectacular one. And then here we have the Marvel What If series. And here it was What If Archangel Fell From Grace. It's a bad bit. Then here's another What If, and it's also a giant size special. It's what if the Fantastic Four's second child had lived. With two feature length thrillers, and here it's from the 90s, so it's a 50 year celebration. Will she destroy the world, or will she save the world, or destroy it? This is another interesting issue. The other one, I bought a lot of Marvel what ifs because I think they're always interesting. And so here it is what if the Phoenix had not died? And on the cover, it looks like instead of. Uh, it's Phoenix dying is Scott Cyclops are dying featuring the X-Men you have the Watcher Wolverine some other guy then here you have the 30th anniversary of the Fantastic Four uh, 1961 to 1991 and Cap was 1941 through 1991 so these are uh, came out around the same time same year and here's another what if the what if cable had destroyed the x-men part one of two and unfortunately i don't think i actually have the second part wish i would and here's the 30th anniversary this is a year later from 1960 to 1992 for spider-man i always collect like the first issue of the series or the first arc because i think that's easier to get into and it's hard to try to find the ones after it unless they're part of the same pack. And here is when, well, when DC started doing year ones. And so this is year one of Metamorpho. And this is the first issue out of the six. It's a miniseries. And it's part of the Countdown 30. <laughs> Blue Dragon. Ah, that's an old one. And here, another Metamorpho, but this is the older one. So this is part of the four issue miniseries. And this is number one. This is from 1993 by Wade, Nolan, and Boyd. The other one is by Jurgens and Depperdag. Let's see, yeah. This is Mortal Kombat. It's coming to not the arcades, but to the console. So you have Raiden, Sub Zero, Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade, Kano, Girl, and Scorpion as the starting players. September 1993. Let's go. And here is the rare, not rare, the uh, collector set that they've done a lot in the 90s. Where it's like, issue. This is the Amazing Avengers suit, man. You can still see the packaging in the dirt. The Back from the Dead uh, series. The Man of Steel fights for his life. <clears throat> so basically, this is the 64 page for Superman 500, which came out after the death of Superman. It's a with removable translucent cover, which is I'm assuming is this. And there's an exclusive eight extra story pages and one Skybox Bloodline trading cards featuring the four new Superman that came out from the death of Superman line. And here is Ghost Riders, Heaven's Fire. Um, let's see, it looks like corpses. So this is direct edition, parent advisory. 
This is the limited series, the first issue out of six by Aaron and Boshi. I think this one, this is the one with uh, Johnny Blaze and Dan co-starring. Well, the Honda Hybrid uh, tells you the date of that. And here's the what I like the best, the Marvel 2-in-1, where it's two different characters co-starring in the same comic. So for this one, it presents the Thing and the Vision. And that's cool. And there's also the guest star for Daredevil. So keep blasting, Daredevil. There must be some way you can stop a guy you can't touch. And if there isn't, it means success for the final gambit. I think it's cool. And then you can see how comics have cost differently. Like this one was only 39 cents that time. And here's <laughs> another what if from the 80s. What if the Fantastic Five fought Doctor Doom and Annihilus? This is Time Quake, part one of five, 30th anniversary. This is the, one of the few what if issues where there are multiple issues about the same storyline. So I thought this was awesome. And here, Terminator 2 Judgment Day on NES and Game Boy. <laughs> By LJN. And so, here, it's what if Vision of the Avengers conquered the world. See Hydra, and see Doctor Doom, the Watcher, Captain America and She-Hulk, Spider-Man, Symbol. <laughs> New Dungeon and Dragon game. It's cool. Or some kind of Dungeon and Dragon ripoff. Cause it's just called The Dungeon. Sorry about that. I have to get some more space <laughs> memory. So this is continuation. So this is the another what if we last left off on the Vision. Which I have presumed that he uses the Ultron programming to do so. And here is what if Professor X of the X-Men had become the Juggernaut? You see Rampage, you see Quicksilver, you see Cyclops and some weird ass thing. This is uh, inked by Jim Lee. So you have the Watcher, Professor X and Magneto. And you have Iceman in here. The Demon Sword. That's an old one. Huh. And so, this one was the, if it has four different ones, so this one is, what if the Fantastic Four all had the same power? You see, all of them could go invisible, go through walls or something, it looks like this guy's going through walls, but if all of them became thing-like creatures, then, actually this one kind of looks more like a swamp thing to me, clay face, another clay face. And with all of them could catch on fire like Johnny, and then feel all of them stretch. And here, I like this kind of logo. The stretched close up Spider Man logo. This was inked by Talentino. I can't read, it's kind of got a Talentino and McFarlane. And then here's a great what if issue. What if the Punisher's family hadn't been killed? Like, would he still be the Punisher, or would he just be a family? Ah, Double Dragon the Revenge, number two, the sequel, into NES. <laughs> oh, man. Double Dragon. And here, this one, I love this series, actually, even though I barely read it. I like the story behind it. So here's the uh, Dal H for Hero the most original character in comics history and then Mayhem at a missile base at the Manhunter from Mars goes berserk so isn't Martian Manhunter so hurry Robbie devil fast or you're finished and so this is basically for the younger generation doesn't this is basically the precursor to Ben 10 that's how you get the idea for the Omnitrix and stuff so basically Robbie he had can change to a thousand superheroes by just dialing it. So if you want, I don't know, flame, you dial flame and then it goes on fire or something. And so I remember this one incarnation, it was an actual rotary telephone. I don't remember it being like this. Then I remember 
when it was split into two, which is given to the guy and girl. I think they were siblings or something. It was a trinket and then like a watch, and that's the thing how it got Ben 10. Then the Doom Patrol, the Silver Age version. And the Get Out from Midway City, War of the Super Weapons. This is cool. July issue number one, the all new Avengers. The same thing for this one. This is also July number one issue. So I think this is the one without Beast Boy alliteration. It was just the main four. And this one, back when it cost 50 cents. And it had uh, prizes. Win a Toys R Us shopping spree. Grand prize minimum value 3,000 bucks. Details inside. This is another Marvel 2-in-1. This is The Thing and the Angel. It's another 2-in-1 that I get with The Thing in it. And so basically... It looks like the Fighting Knights by Simmons and Simons and Wilson. Angel is using his red, white, and yellow version of his suit. That's cool. And here you can see Olympic, earn famous, name prizes, or earn a dollar a box in cash. And there's a sample. And you can cut this out and basically... Um, send it to Connecticut and get one of these prizes or cash and the I'm getting to the end here this is showcase number 22 the first appearance of the Silver Age land from the DC Silver Age classics landmark events from the Silver Age of comics that they were originally presented featuring three different Green Lantern adventures with the cover from October the featuring the menace of the runaway missile so basically these are reprints, basically, and it has three different Avengers that in this book, comic. So I think these are nice to get people to go back to the origin stories and the early stories. Here's this one, which I like. Another all-new number one issue from July. It's Showcase Presents Seven Soldiers of Victory. Dead Man, Mento, Shining Knight, Black Hulk, Metamorpho, Batgirl, Adam Strange, Forge in the fame, Flames of Galactic Conquest. There are planets only hope against the Injustice League. Which is Sinestro, Lex, Luthor, Catwoman, Dr. Light, Black Manta, among others. This is very nice. And one of the only few ones I have that have an actual backing to them to keep from getting deformed. Alright, so this is my comics haul for this year. 2014. So, uh, I will see you for the rest of the playlist. Um, and I'll see you for other reviews. So, see you guys later.